working in the tight space. Still able to get it out. O'Brien just lost the footy. Holding the ball to call. Fremantle will take the advantage. They've got to find a way out. Five under the pump to O'Meara. They were flirting with danger, but they kept it rolling. Banfield delivers up. Amos knocked away by Smith. Banfield on the follow. Out to Amos. Off a step. Squirted it through to Frederick. Swivel of the hips. Enough to get away. Banfield. He's played back. He moves forward. He's Bailey. Banfield. When travelling in the same direction, that's all the ball. Williams tried to take on Liberatore. Play on advantage. English. Trelaw. McRae. Back to English. He has to bend down low. It's a good pick up under pressure. Here's a chance. Norton. Back to English. The running Ruckman. He brings it into Bontempelli. Norton could give it to English. What a team goal. The finish by West. Zorko, not far enough, read beautifully by the skipper. Now Noble can stream away. Ford handball McCreary from long range for the beautiful start here for Collingwood. He has got it. Bailey Williams called, hit him perfectly. Here's Waveman. Loves the shot inside 50, it's oh, bouncing. Oh, oh, Cody! Pops up the crowd and why not? Goal of the day! A great conversion. Nice tap out. And he enjoyed every second of it. Wow. Dan Royan leads towards the pocket. Here's French. Off the chest. Billings to Windsor. Straightens up. Heads goalward. And slots it! The kid with a ripper! You'll watch one young Windsor here. The speed he has to get around his opponent and whip back onto the right foot. And then Cozzy Piggott with some fantastic shepherding on the line. The second one from the night, gone the other, results in a goal. Collins brothers playing together, family watching on. Elijah for his first goal in navy blue. Capture that. 20 goals for Carlton on a big afternoon at Marble Stadium. And Elijah's a nice addition to this team. There is a bit of uh, love for his younger brother, and that's just a beautiful scene, isn't it? Essendon wind up again. Corbell's had a big last quarter, and that is precision. Last year, he rolled out the Easter Sunday barrel. This is the Easter Saturday drop punt, and it's just as good, if not better. They're only four points down. They've got the half forward. Ross with a critical kick. Membry can't mark. Laverde did well. Filippo. From the boundary. Oh, from the boundary, and it's out on the floor. Exactly a minute. Draper needs to defend. He's able to take the mark. What a luxury. Hobbs can't get past Cross. Five seconds. They're going to hang on the bombers. The Essendon edge. One way, went the other, heads toward attacking 50, way out wide, Mansell put the Jets on, got there to Bolton. Opens up the angle. Oh, got it there by Kona Pike. Touche Shea. They needed that. First game for Mitchell, never kicked a goal. Goes to Amati, can't take the mark. Golden! Takes him to goal school. 
It's flung away. Play on. Right bottom. Got it to Warner. Inside kick long. McInerney. Off hands. They're one straight kick away from the victory. Oh, oh, oh. They fly. No mark from Blakey. Nan Kervis pads it forward. One last hurrah for the Swans, maybe. No Mansell. Kills that, and now Bolden runs onto it. There's five seconds left. Richmond are going to do it. Bolden kicks to an empty goal square. An embarrassment of riches here. Rioli, it doesn't matter. They've done it. And a Uze, the drought is broken. In 2024, Richmond win in a beauty on Easter Sunday. They've held on. Well, he's going to lead his beloved Cats out onto the MCG on Easter Monday and let's enjoy that with him. Good luck to big Tommy Hawkins. In the forward pocket to Duncan and here comes Tom Hawkins. Currently the 14th all-time goal kicker. Game 350. Hawkins manicures it magnificently. What about that for Tom Hawkins? Just fantastic to see him doing it on the pit. That's taken a bit of lifting from Jeremy Cameron and Mitch Duncan. And I know, Joel, if you were down there, you'd love to be underneath that. We've had a few goes at it, BT, and uh, it got easier. They got better at it as a journey. Look at Jeremy Cameron. <laughs> He's a first timer, Jezza. Wow, look at the smiles. rmhc.org.au to find out more about the wonderful work they do at Ronald McDonald House Charities. What beautiful scenes we've had here today. There is the game of football, but there is the greater cause, of course, and you can continue to donate right throughout the course of the day to the Good Friday Appeal. The coin will be tossed today by Imogen Mulgrew. She's a 10-year-old diagnosed with leukaemia about two years ago. She's undergoing a two-and-a-half-year treatment plan at the Royal Children's. Here she is. She will hopefully ring the end of treatment bell later this year. So that is fantastic news. Do you want to hold that and face Michael, get a nice photo? Let's do it, eh? Here you go, guys. Oh, it's a head. Right, good day. Good day. See you later. See you good luck. Later. Go, Bruce! Point point. How good beautiful. Good Thank good you. <laughs> Is little Imogen. She's a big North Melbourne fan along with her dad and what a joyful thing that is to see. A huge smile on her face and how good sums up 